If you are into software development like me or into project management, consulting, marketing or IT, you might already know how difficult it is to create a complex diagram like mind map, flowchart, whiteboards or even slides etc. Right? So every time when I'm about to develop an application, even before writing the first line of code, the first thing that I always do is to create the ER diagram of flowchart and mind map and all other things and things can get incredibly difficult due to all the complex entities involved in the same. Well, what if I tell you you can use AI to create highly complex mind maps, AR diagrams or flowcharts using AI in a single click. And the best part, you don't even have to download any software to your computer and everything can be accessed within a web browser. I'm talking about an AI tool called eDraw AI, an AI powered visual collaboration platform that comes with over 26,000 symbols, 700 built-in templates, real-time collaboration, a bunch of AI tools. All of these diagrams that you see on the screen is entirely created using eDraw AI in a single click. And today in this video, I will show you how to use eDraw AI and all the AI features it has to offer. So without wasting further ado, let's jump straight in. All right, so this right here is eDraw.ai and this is the platform that I've been talking about. And the first thing that you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below and head over to eDraw.ai and you will land on this particular page right here. So it says eDraw AI where creativity meets intelligence. And if you scroll down, you'll be able to find all the different cool AI features this tool has got. For example, you have AI design, AI diagram, whiteboard, brainstorming, project management, AI planning and whatnot. So if you scroll through this page, you'll be able to find a lot of different features this platform has to offer and all of these are examples of diagrams created using AI and as I mentioned earlier this platform has got over 26,000 symbols and 700 built-in templates so that you can quickly get started with the press of a button. Now the first thing that you gotta do is to land on this page and click on the try online for free option and it will take you to your dashboard where you can access all these tools. So this right here is the eDraw AI dashboard and this is where all the magic happens. So up to the top you can find a quick start option and a variety of different tools including AI mind map, flowchart, whiteboard, mind map, brainstorming and a lot lot more. So we'll quickly get started with the AI mind map feature. So all I gotta do is to click on this AI mind map option and it will opt this mind map generator right here. So it says generate stunning mind maps with just one sentence and all you gotta do is to enter the prompt in here and click on the start button and the AI will do the rest. And you can also find a bunch of example prompt in here. For example, we have lecture about tiger or inquisitive second grabbers, marketing research on the skincare industry, top three winners in the equity markets, the most ridiculous NBA moments, pitch deck for a new social media platform and a lot lot more. I like this one for now, I'll use this example right here. So it says pitch deck for a new social media platform and all I gotta do is to click on the start button and the AI will do the rest. So let's just wait for it to complete creating the mind map for us. All right, so the AI has created the mind map and you can find a full screen preview right here. So let me make the window full screen and here you have a pitch deck for a new social media platform and then you have all these entities right here. So it says introduction, market analysis, product features, business model. That introduction is, uh, we have three categories in there, overview of platform, mission statement, vision statement. Then again, as you can see, we have all these things nicely laid out on the screen, different colors and all that thing. So this is how simple it is to create a mind map using AI in a single click. So all I give is like create a pitch deck for a new social media platform. And this is what the AI has generated. And if you want to change the view, you have options for that in here. So it's mind map. And if you want to, let's say switch to a outliner, you will see the outline of that particular thing and if you want to you can also view it in a ppt and convert it into a ppt and export the same for now i'll go back to mind map option and now let's just try to customize it okay now every single aspect of this mind map right here is customizable exactly like the way you want to for example let's say you want to change the color of this box right here so all you gotta do is to highlight the same and you will find an option that says topic fill color so i can click on this one and select a different color for example let's say this one right here and if you want to change the font settings, you can change the size, make it bold, italics and all that. And if you want to, you can also select these individual topics within this thing. And if you want to add, let's say a border or let's say a fill color, you can select it, add a fill color and you can customize it. And in a similar fashion, if you want to edit one of these, you can double clip and you can go ahead and let's say, so this way you can edit every single aspect of your mind map generated entirely using AI and towards the right side also you'll be able to find all these customization parameters. For example, I can go ahead and select this one right here and I can find a bunch of different configurations options to the right side and I can you know sort of edit it and make it look the way I want to. And now if you move over to the canvas section right here, you'll be able to change the layout and theme and background and whatnot. For example, if you want to change the color theme to a different one, you can go ahead and select it from here. And this way you can change the entire look and feel of your mind map in a single click. And just by hovering over it, you can 
view a full preview on the same and again let's say you like this one you can go ahead and select it and click on keep and there you have it so the mind map is instantly customized and now once the mind map is created and let's say you want to share it you can click on the share option right here and put the email of the people that you want to invite or let's say share the file and you can do that and if you want to you can also go ahead and click on the export option and export this particular mind map and share it as well and again if you want to export the same you can click on this export option and this pop-up will appear and you can export this mind map as an image pdf excel html text markdown whatever click on the export option and directly share with any person that you want to and now that's about the mind map feature in eDRO AI. So next up is the AI flowchart generator on eDRO AI and this is the one that I use the most. So it says AI powered flowchart generator and you can go ahead and enter the prompt, click on the start button and the AI will create the flowchart for you. For example, I can click on this one that says the payment processing workflow involves step for current and new customers and including approvals for non-US customers. So you can go ahead and put your exact prompt description and you know everything and click on the start button and the EA will start creating the same. So let's say I'm working on a mobile app and I want to create a flowchart for the uh, user onboarding or let's say the sign up and registration uh, flows i can go ahead and put that in here all the uh, i can explain all that in a simple way and i can click on the start button and the ai will start creating the uh, flowchart for me so i can go ahead and click on the start button and let's see what ai creates for us so there we have a simple flowchart so it says start existing customer if yes current customer process non-us approvals payment processing if it's not an existing customer will be prompted to new customer process then we'll go ahead and do it so this is a simple flowchart that the ai has created for us and if you want to, you can also go ahead and enter your custom instructions and create a flowchart and once you're done you can click on the edit in this canvas option and you can go ahead and further edit it obviously the flowchart that the ai creates for you might not be 100 correct and you might want to make some slight changes here and there so you can go ahead and open it up in the canvas and take it up from there for example, I have opened up that particular flowchart in this editor canvas and I can go ahead and make all the changes, change the style of the diagram. If you want to change or add new entities, for example, let me change the style to let's say this one right here. And after that, let's say I want to add a new one so I can select it, add in the place that I want to create all the arrows. I can add the text, for example, let's say new text. Let's just for example purpose so yeah new text and you can go ahead and add entities decision flows and all that and here you can find all the flowchart icons and shapes and again if you want to add pictures you can do that add graphs text icons and if i was about to explain all of this in this video the video will be extremely long because the canvas feature in eDraw ai is something magnificent and now let's just say i want to create and add a chart so i can click on the bar chart option right here select a chart and insert the same into the canvas and i can start editing it so this way you can also have interactive diagrams charts and images on your workflow as well so that's also one cool feature that you have in eDraw ai next up let me show the whiteboard feature so i'll go ahead and select this whiteboard right here click on create new and if you are into tutorial space or if you want to kind of visualize the stuff before you build or let's say I'm working on a mobile app or a web app and I want to let's say visualize the API calls and the backend system design all that I can use this whiteboard right here for example I can go ahead and click on the shapes option select a shape so I can draw it and I'll go ahead and say front end yeah and now I can select this arrow and I'll make a connection to here and add a new shape in here so this is going to be our backend. So I can go ahead and say backend, ooh, backend. And now uh, we click a button on our front end. It fires a request to the backend and the backend then makes a request to a third party API. So I can go ahead and put another box in here and I'll go ahead and say third party API. And now the third party API will give a response back to the backend. So I can go ahead and add another arrow. So the third party API gives us a response back and the backend will give it back to let's say our front end. So this way you can go ahead and easily visualize all the data, all the components. And this way you can also create a whiteboard and explain all the stuff. And if you want to add, let's say some textual elements, you can click on this text option, place it in here. Let's say a whiteboard example. If you want to, you can change the size. Okay. Let me select it. Change the size easily like this. If you want to change the font, if you want to bold it or maybe add a background, you can do all that within this whiteboard. So this is also one tool that will be extremely useful in situations where you want to teach people something or also visualize all everything that you're going to do in a project beforehand. So that's also one cool feature that is available within eDraw. Now, apart from all of this, you have a couple of other features as well. For example, you have this option that says AI diagram. So you can go ahead and select a pie chart. 
let's say this prompt right here show a type of data with distinct color segments for each type and varying radii to represent the data values so you can go ahead and give your prompt and select that kind of diagram that you want to generate and click on the start option and the ai will go ahead and create a diagram for you so if you have to create it manually it will take you at least 15 to 30 minutes and with the help of eDraw ai you can create it all by yourself and now this is the image that it has created so you can go ahead and replace all this data in here and the same will be reflected in here and if you want to you can click on this edit in canvas option replace and add colors and make it a bit more attractive and in a similar fashion if you want to create a slide this eDraw AI has also got a AI slide maker so I can click on this option create a pitch deck for my social media platform click on start and the AI will go ahead and create a slide using the data that we passed and yeah here we have an outline and I can click on the choose PPT style option and I can click on the start option and yeah the AI should replace all the content add the outline and yeah it should display all that in a single click so as you can see the AI is creating the slide for us so we have a lot of different icons textual content boxes and all of this is actually created in a single click using AI within eDraw AI so that's also one cool feature that you'll find extremely helpful in eDraw AI and now apart from these main tools, we also have a AI file analysis option, AI drawing, AI chat, AI image, and even AI OCR. For example, if I click on this AI chat option, I should be able to converse with an AI model just like we do with ChatGPT or Claude. So let's say you're working on your pitch deck and you want to add some important stats and facts. You can go ahead and ask it here, copy it and use it in the canvas editor and add it instantly. In a similar fashion, you can also go ahead and click on the AI drawing option and create drawings using AI as well. So let me quickly click on it and wait for it to load. So in here I can go ahead and give my prompt and create high quality designs and drawings and add it to my you know charts or whatever stuff that I'm developing as well. And next step is the AI OCR feature where you can go ahead and upload images to the AI and have it extract all the text from that particular image. For example I'll go ahead and drag and drop an image. So this is like a page of a book and all the data you see here and I want to extract the same. So I can upload this click on start option and the AI will go ahead and extract all the text within this image and display the same and this way I don't really have to manually write the content so as you can see we have the entire text in here so I can go ahead and copy it or download it or copy and start using it my project so that's for the AI OCR feature so this is how simple it is to create diagrams using eDraw AI so the platform comes with a wide variety of tools that you could use to create mind maps whiteboard flowcharts ER diagrams or any other type of diagrams visualization of data using you know AI uh, chart option slide maker you could go ahead and create an entire pitch deck for your new startup using this platform right here so yeah that's pretty much all i wanted to show you about eDraw ai so if you are into marketing consulting it or product development i'm pretty sure you'll find eDraw ai extremely important and it nicely integrates with your workflow and you can start using it right away so definitely make sure to check out eDraw ai using the first link in the description below and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you next one